Hi guys, I'm Rachel. I'm Mindy. Welcome to Needles and Nerds. Cosstube quarantine 20 questions where quarantine's kind of slowly, slowly going away. Wait. So we're actually together now. But yeah, we're uh, being careful, being safe. We're being safe. Masks, hand sanitizer, all that. But um, we're here now. We're here now. We're together again. And we're going to be answering questions so you can learn more about us. <laughs> So the first costume that I technically sewed was Eliza, but my first um, cosplay was when I was like 11 or 12 and I was Princess Zelda, specifically the Twilight Princess model. The Twilight Princess Zelda model has brown hair and a purple dress because back when I was little I liked purple more than I liked pink and her other dresses are pink. So I wanted to be this model of Zelda. Um, my sister-in-law made the dress for me and I painted some of the details on. It's really bad. We've made none of the armor, just the dress. The pieces my brother made out of clay that we dried, so it was very heavy. And it pulled the dress down. Oh gosh. Um, but that's okay because um, if you keep an eye out in the future, maybe you'll see something about Princess Zelda again. And uh, for me, I actually start sewing at about age eight. And so I actually started with doll dresses, which I have an example here. This is one of the ones I made. So this is a costume for American Girl doll, Josefina. Uh, and so it's, it's Dorothy Gale's dress. So that's an early example of something I made. And then after doll dresses, then I moved into costuming for myself. <laughs> My favorite and the dress that I'm most proud of is my Cinderella dress at the moment. Um, I've been wanting to have a Cinderella dress for a long time and I worked really hard to make it screen accurate and the sleeves were such a puzzle piece to figure out and I'm just really satisfied with how it turned out. It's just absolutely stunning and it's, it's my favorite. My favorite dress and the dress I'm most proud of ironically, I don't know if it's ironic, is Madam Secretary Jefferson, also known as my Thomas Jefferson Hamilton gender bend. <laughs> I wanted the dress to be very uh, French, very European, very big, very loud. It's pink. Well, it's magenta, which isn't better. <laughs> And I wanted it to frankly look assaulting to your eyes because I thought that's what Thomas Jefferson dress would be. And somehow it, it's my favorite, it's the dress I'm most proud of because it was the first dress that I made without your help. Mm -hmm. I only learned how to sew like a, two years ago, a year and a half ago. It was the first dress I made completely by myself. I had to alter a pattern to do it, which I hadn't done at that point by myself. But on top of that, it's easily the dress I look the best in. I look amazing in that dress. And I, I honestly don't understand. It's not supposed to look good. It's not supposed to look good. So the funny thing about me in costumes is I don't really think about them that much. I just look at something and say, oh, wonderful. I bet I could make that. That'd be fun. I don't think ahead and I didn't even really want to get into cosplay for that long so I don't have any big dream dresses but if I had to pick one when I was a little girl I loved Barbie movies and I loved Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus because it was purple and as we've established when I was little I liked the color purple so I would have to say her main dress from Barbie Magic and Pegasus. And then uh, I'm kind of already making some of my dream dresses uh, Felicity was definitely a big dream dress that I've wanted ever since I was little. Cinderella is another one. I had a Cinderella costume when I was really little and that was a big dream dress. And then the next one that I'm planning on making, the big ball gown from The King and I, that's been a long-term dream dress as well. 
So I'm really happy, honestly. I've been able to be making a lot of my dream dresses, but I mean, there are so many gorgeous costumes in theater and film history and uh, just characters and cosplays yeah. and stuff that uh, I'm sure I'm going to have another one that I'll remember that uh, I've just absolutely also wanted for a long time. <laughs> I love dresses too much. Our, our dreams are too changing. Many, too many dream dresses. <laughs> So a sewing task I love is actually pleating. I like pleating skirts. It's very satisfying to me. It's like solving a puzzle and it's really just almost therapeutic. Uh, it's just very nice and I like that. Versus something I hate. Um, gathering is usually more work than I anticipate. Um, and I'm still working on sizing sleeves right and stuff, so sleeves have been kind of a challenge. Um, mostly um, just seams that take a long time, like hems, that's another one I really don't like. Um, okay, well something I love, I've established, well, I've talked to you about this before, mm -hmm. I really love to make bodices, and I don't know why, but out of a dress, the thing I love to make most is the bodice. I don't know, the seams are nice and short and satisfying, the curves in them always look lovely, and I can do them in like less than in two hours. Mm -hmm. So I have a product very quickly that I can put on and say, oh, I made this. And I think that's part of why I like them so much. Um, something I hate, I hate pleating. I hate pleating. I do not, I have no attention to like detail. I, I cannot make something look perfect. I don't want to spend the time. So my pleats always look ugly and then they don't match. Like I don't end in the right spot. So I have to go back and redo them because I sized them wrong. And I just, I don't, I don't like them. <laughs> Just the question, even without working for more, I've worked with silk so much. We've established I made a, a Thomas Jefferson gender bend, which I made the entire thing out of silk. And that was a very large skirt. And I, you know, it's it slips and it slides and it doesn't want to stay still, but I'm kind of over it. I've, I've done it so much, I'm, I'm over it. Meanwhile, I think um, if I actually got my hands on a nice, thin, good, like Brinley and Trowbridge sort of wool, yeah. Um, I probably would enjoy working with that the most just because wool has that texture where it kind of holds itself in place and it does what you tell it to do. So I like that. Silk is a little, you have to pin it too much. I you don't have like to pin that. It. I think, I mean, it depends on why we're going, but I, cause we go to Dragon Con and that's yeah. pretty much a, a wear whatever you want sort of thing. But I think I prefer themed events because yeah. I like being able to fit within certain parameters and, and be creative in that sort of space. Um, it's, it's always neat to be able to fit within a certain theme or aesthetic yeah. and, and get that look. Because you don't usually get that sort of uni uniform kind of setting at yeah. some place like Dragon Con. If, if you can like pick to wear whatever you want, then you know... It can get kind of crazy and everyone does something different but if ever if you had a themed event mm -hmm. that has a hard theme and everyone's there in the same costume then it's a lot easier to just kind of show off in a weird way you can show your creativity with that theme, theme yeah. as opposed to everybody's just being incredibly creative everywhere which is great but it, it's nice to see it's that nice variety within see, the theme. Yeah. <laughs> um, it depends on who's at the intimate dinner and it depends on how big the ball is. Machine show. My own hair. Since we're kind of newer to the historical sewing community, we actually don't know a ton of um, small resources. We have a few places that we go in our area, and yeah. mostly it's kind of big chains like yeah. Joann's or, or Fabric Wholesalers. So yeah. actually, if you guys have any resources for us on small businesses in the sewing sphere, we would love to hear them. So put them in the comments below. Yeah, comment your top five businesses and maybe we'll check them out. I mean, not maybe, we probably will. <laughs> I need fabric. <laughs> So 
So five people on YouTube we recommend. One, Tiny Angry Crafts. She's really cool and I like what she does. Um, two, Bernadette Banner. Kind of obvious, but she's awesome. She's beautiful. She's poised. She lives her dream. And some of her videos have helped with my sewing projects, so. Um, Nerdy Silly Girl. She's French and is coming up on the French cosplay scene. And again, I really like her stuff. I think she's really cool. And uh, I speak French, so maybe mm -hmm. it'd be cool if we went over there one day, day and could collab or something. I don't know. Um, Angela Clayton. Uh, she does really good, like, actual tutorials. Like, if you actually want to learn how to do something, her tutorials are really good for that. She helped when I was making my 18th century dress, my Madam Secretary dress. I had no idea where to start <laughs> with something with that much trim and, and like that, so. And finally, Abby Cox. Uh, she's got some really fun, unique perspectives on history, and uh, her videos have been really good as well. <laughs>
any questions. We hope you've enjoyed getting to know us a little bit more. Um, I hope that you've learned a little bit about us and might be more interested in some of our future projects. We've got a few exciting ones coming up. Not gonna lie, I'm really, I'm really excited. They're really about good. Them. They're really good. They're really good. So yes. you can subscribe so you'll get notified about the next one, especially if you ring that little bell down below. Right, so we have some we have some really cool stuff actually slated to come out in the yeah. next couple weeks. If you're Ooh. if you're an American girl, girl fan, fan, you might want you might want to subscribe. Also, uh, we post on Instagram pretty regularly. Yeah, so. almost. I mean, at this point, we're posting daily. So if you want to see some of our um, shots from when we do photo shoots and some of our costumes, go ahead and follow us on Instagram at Needles and Nerds. And thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.